Hey guys, it's Bozzy here, and uh, finally I'm going to show you how to uh, install texture packs on a Mac, as you can see here. Very Mac y. But uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how it looks normally. I'm pretty sure you know what it looks like. Maybe if I just see. Bit of a lag spike here. <laughs> Where's it crashed? Oh dear. Ah, no, no, there we go. But as you can see, it's very, let's say, pixelated. Doesn't mean it's bad, but it's quite pixelated. So, this is for Minecraft you know and love if you haven't uh, toyed around with texture packs before. So, just give you an idea. So I'll go back to the beginning point. Then I'm going to change to a texture pack. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a lot already. So I'm going to go on this one. And you will see the difference. As you can see, the sand much, much more detailed. And uh, Minecraft for Kids is actually one of my, um, I say, recommended texture packs because it's actually one of my favourites. Makes everything look a bit Olympian, a bit, a bit Disney. In the simplicity. And it also looks very nice. Now, it's no good me just showing you this, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey guys, so we're back, and uh, what you can see in front of you is what I'd say is one of the best places where you can find uh, your texture packs and skins and all the like. It is uh, planetminecraft.com. Zoom in a bit. And what I'm going to do is um, show, well, basically show you how to download it. So what the best you want to do is texture packs, and as you can see here, this is texture packs. Now, I'm going to look here, and as you can see, it's got resolutions now. I'm going to show you 8 by 8, 16 by 16. Those are texture packs that you can use without having to do an HD texture pack fix. So, you can put these in right at the back. 32, 64, 128, and 256 are the big ones. They're the big uh, HD packs, which you will need to patch for. But I'm not going to do that just yet, I'm just going to go to 16 by 16 As you can see, official Gazamo texture pack, so might as well give this a try. And uh, literally all we do is click download. Now, as you can see here, this does not automatically open up from the zip. And this is very important because if this opens up and then you just zip the folder straight up, it won't actually work. So what you want to do, this is this is Mac exclusive, I'd say, because I don't see, um, I don't think Windows do, does this. But what you, what you want to do is make sure this is not selected. So it says open safe files after downloading. You want to make sure this is not on so your zip file does not open okay so I've already downloaded this before just for the sake of um, renaming it so I've now called it non HD Gazamo land pack now as you will see when you try to open this texture pack folder it doesn't work it doesn't work on a Mac so I'm going to show you where to find it. So I'll zoom this in. There we go. Now what you do is go to your um, your home, what your name, your user. What you want to go is go to library, application support, Minecraft. 
and as you can see this is sort of uh, the heart of Minecraft where you'll find everything so you'd be using this if you wanted to um, do, use mods this is um, sound and I think you would be able to replace this with your own uh, music and that would automatically play instead of the ones that you can hear now this is where your saves are screenshots although apparently I've taken a few although I don't remember doing so so for me that's very interesting <laughs> stats um, I think those is what you see in the stats page next to achievements and here is where you actually want to be for this particular tutorial as you can see I've already got quite a few texture packs and it's exactly what you see here so yep so I'm going to show you um, all you literally do you literally do is drag and drop done and here it is instantly so we're going to check out what it looks like You see, it looks quite different. Grass is darker, everything looks a bit more detailed. And, oh look, look at the crosshair, looks a lot different too. Along with the interface. Now the interface is another one of things, it doesn't just change your blocks, it changes your interface as well. So it's pretty much just a complete makeover of Minecraft. So it is literally that simple. But uh, HD texture packs, which you might be using a bit more often, they're not so simple. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Okay, so here we are again, and um, see, before I chose 16 by 16, but now I'm going to go with 30 by 32. So as you can see, texture packs, etc., etc. I'm going to click that and I'm not going to download another one again because I've already downloaded it but what you want is an HD texture pack fix so you'll want to go to that and it will open up a uh, link in the forums and as you can see now I recommend you read this just so you know what's actually going on but um, for the sake of this I'm not going to uh, see Windows only and all other platforms so for me I want this and then I'll open this up now you'll be able to open it in the same way um, just literally by double clicking and it will look exactly the same on uh, either, either OS, so on Windows and on Mac, it will, and on Linux for that matter, it will look the same. And as you can see, literally all you do, patch. Um, in previous versions, you had to actually choose the texture pack you wanted to patch and then patch it, but this is basically all around, which means you can do exactly the same. Um, as you did before, so, texture pack. There we go. There's my other one. And instead of having to patch for a particular patch, well, a particular texture pack, what you do is drag and drop again. Done. So I'll look at Minecraft, and it will be there. Ooh, what's going on? Oh dear, <laughs> it's crashed for me. Oh dear. So we'll open up that again. Um, that usually doesn't happen. I think that's just because I had Minecraft going off for too long. So we'll try that again. As you can see, the background's different. And we'll just get into that now. So just full screen that. As you can see, all looks a bit different. Now at the same time as um, installing the texture pack fix I actually put the better grass mod on there so the only difference that makes is for um, small hills it makes it 
green, so as opposed to just dirt. But for um, quite steep slopes, it keeps the dirt on. So it's nothing but an aesthetical improvement, but I think it looks quite nice. As you can see, everything looks a bit different. Do it more detailed. And in some texture packs, the interface doesn't change, and that's entirely down to the person who made the texture pack. They can choose um, to uh, make a new interface or not. So that is literally the gist of it. And it's, it is really that simple. I mean, it used to be a lot more complicated, but nowadays it is a lot more simple. So, jump into that. <laughs> and I'll get into a summary. So, in summary, texture packs are basically things that replace the original graphics with uh, new ones, as you've seen in these 10 minutes. And um, I've written up the Mac directory for text packs, and it's right here. It's a user slash library application support Minecraft text packs. And HD text packs are 32 and up, and they need a patch. And um, that's pretty much it, really. So thanks for watching. Do your fan, rate, comment, all that jazz, and subscribe if you really like it. And I'll be up with another tutorial soon. So bye bye.